So what we are is we are um, six working artist studios with 11 artists that rent mm -hmm. studio space. Um, most are painters. We do have one on the gallery space in the front. Um, we have one wall that is just the work of all, us, all of us. Um, and then we have um, some wall space that's rented to local artists. And then we also reserve some space for what we call a featured artist. Mm -hmm. And usually that person is somebody who's local. They may have participated in one of our shows and won a People's Choice Award, or it could just be somebody else, you know, local that we just like their art. So they come and stay, you know, hang their work for a period of time. We do juried um, shows that change every quarter, um, and it's all local artists, and we change the theme. The current show is called Night Visions. It's art based on the nighttime, which is kind of cool. Um, but we've had Harvest Tide, which is a fall themed show. We've had Small Works, which is just little small 10 by 10. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have some shows um, occasionally that will benefit, you know, local um, charitable organizations. Like we've done things for the Good Shepherd Center, our holiday market every year, we donate to the Good Shepherd Center right around Christmas time. We thought that was a good thing. We have a show coming up that's gonna be pet oriented. And uh, it'll be juried as well, but it, all of the proceeds for that will go to the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. We've done um, one that was sort of more of an outdoor -y kind of theme, you know, um, mm -hmm. for the Cape Fear River Watch. So we've done, you know, shows that we try to have, you know, um, proceeds go to benefit local, local organizations. Um, we have a window in the front um, that's just a window space that we rent out. Um, it's been, you know, rented out to Potter. We have someone coming up that's going to be uh, three painters that are going to be joining us and um, renting that space. But, you know, our, our goal is just to have a space for local artists to show their work. I mean, we're not really a for-profit, so to speak, even though we're, you know, we are a business. But um, it's more for just being a community-based um, place for people to show their art and then also to be able to give back you know, to the community in ways that we can. So we also um, do workshops occasionally. So we get, you know, local people that come in and teach workshops and they teach out up in the front gallery. Um, so that's kind of just the basic rundown. Yeah. What's the inspiration behind the name? The name, um, actually the floors were here, these sort of yellowish floors and um, we kind of like the way they looked for the gallery. So yeah. we decided to keep them and citrine is a stone yes. um, that is, you know, known for positive energy, creativity, moving forward. And so we just thought, you know, why not just incorporate that out in our name and we have the floors for it already. So what makes your gallery unique? Well, I think out. I think that we stand out because of what we do for the community. That we're not just a pure gallery where we just sell wares. You know, we're we're trying to be involved in the community. We're trying to bring people in and educate. We're trying to, you know, give emerging artists a space to hang their work. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we um, we do try to have benefits where we give back to the community. So I think that makes us a little different. And the fact that we run as a co-op, you know, where every resident artist, anybody who rents here, has a say in what we do and how we yeah. move forward. So. That's very unique. Yeah, yeah.